Fishy Folks, happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope you guys had a great weekend, which includes Black Friday. And uh, if you don't know, I do have a sale going on at michaelsfishing.com. You can use promo code BLACKFRIDAY15 and get 15% off your entire purchase. That promo code is going to until Monday the 26th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you have about another day and a half to go ahead and spend all your hard-earned money in my website. Anyway, Black Friday 15, 15% off your entire purchase, michaelsfishroom.com. Check it out. I did uh, quite a few sales this weekend. Much of my stock is low, so if you're looking for a specific fish, you should buy it before it goes on back order. And uh, that would be fantastic. Anyway, when I was at Petco, sorry, PetSmart, I did buy this uh, Top Fin Silent Stream 30 filter. Uh, I actually bought two of them. One of them is right here working but I figured I would do an unboxing a how-to video and also how to um, hot rod your filter if you will not really hot rod but just just tips and tricks that I have learned over the years with hang on box backs hang on backs not hang on box now you might be saying to yourself why is he talking about hang on backs when he uses sponge and box filters he just did a video on box filters now, I did do a video on box filters. I did do an unboxing video about that China sponge filter. And let me just tell you, there was a guy who said I was ignorant because every filter is made in China. Sir, if you're watching this video, suck it because I'm not ignorant. Ignorant, I just can't speak, all right? Just suck it. Anyway, moving on. Top fin filter, why do I have it? I like to use a hang on back and I've been using a Marineland 350 which I had in a junk pile that I pieced together and made work. Uh, to help clean some of the detritus and mulm from some of the bottom of my tanks. And I really use it on the uh, lemon blue eye tank because I overfeed the crap out of that tank and there's just a ton of poop and detritus and mulm. Shh, mulm's the word. Um, in that tank and so I use it to clean it up and I figured I have a lot of Pleco tanks and uh, I want to kind of clean them up a little bit because as I start to sell more Plecos, it's a little harder to catch them and put them in you know the bag without putting mom in that bag which could deteriorate deteriorate the water or you get the the bag and you're like wow this is dirty water and I don't want that so we're gonna use it to help clean up some of the uh, some of the tanks so here's what we're gonna do folks I'm gonna unbox this I'm gonna show you all about it then I'm gonna install it show you uh, some tips and tricks I've learned as well as how to save money so uh, if you haven't ever done so already, go, go go ahead, go get a snack and a beverage, and uh, come right back. I'll wait. All right, hope you got your snack and beverage, because uh, I'm not waiting any longer. Top fin hang on back filter. I think on Black Friday it was on sale for 12 bucks, 50% uh, off. The 10 to 30 gallon one, sorry, the 20 to 30 gallon one. Let's open this bad boy up. Now couple things in here. First we have the uh, intake tube and we have the filter and of course the instructions. We don't need those. You might need them, I don't need them. Alright, so let's go over the uh, nuts and bolts, the nooks and crannies of the filter. First thing as I said was the intake which is right here. That's what goes in the water and sucks through the water. You can see the little slots there. Almost um, almost small enough where fry won't go in, but little tiny baby fry will get sucked up. So if you're using a hang on back filter as your primary filtration in your tank and you have fry, you're gonna, gonna wanna wrap a little pinky floss around here or some filter floss or pantyhose or they make intake sponges. Um, a little pricey for me, but uh, I like the pinky floss because uh, you can use it in a couple different places as well as it's cheap. Anyway. All right, fishy folks, let me show you the nooks and crannies of the filter, if you will. That's what it looks like. There's where the water gets sucked up, goes into the chamber, goes through the two filters, and I'll explain those in a second, and overflows from the top, which also creates surface tension breakage. So, show you the impeller. This little doohickey is the impeller. It's just a magnet with a little, uh, with some fins on it to turn the water. 
And uh, these little rubber doodads have a little lube on them to help go in the little hole. There's the hole. Easier, boom, goes like that. And so uh, this turns, creates suction, which sucks water from here into the filter. That's right, from here into the filter. And so in this particular filter, this piece comes off for cleaning. It's got some locating tabs, which is nice. This extends, which is nice. I like it extended actually. Um, and so then this goes into the little hole on the bottom, of course. And then it's got these locating tabs right here to make it sure it goes into place correctly. Like so. Now let's talk about the filter doohickeys. I'm gonna go back behind the desk. Filter one. This is biological, I lied. This is mechanical and chemical. What do I mean by mechanical? Water flows through this filter floss and the detritus debris and crap gets stuck behind it and clean water comes out the other side. What do I mean by chemical? There's carbon in here. I don't use carbon in any of my tanks. I don't recommend it for anything. Uh, its primary use is to clean meds out of the water um, if you're medicating, but I just do water changes as the directions show. Um, and the other use that it's good for, if you don't like tannins and you have driftwood in your tank and you don't like that tannin look or it's still releasing tannins and you don't want it to, the carbon will help clean out those tannins as well. The thing to know about carbon is as it absorbs the uh, toxins from the water, if you will, um, it gets to a point where it'll start releasing them back into the water. It absorbs so much and it can't absorb anymore and then pfft, back into the water and you could kill your fish. You don't want that. That's why I don't recommend carbon. There's really no use for it. It's an expense you don't need. I actually don't even recommend buying these things, but that's a whole other story we'll get into in a second. This is their biological filtration. Now I say there, my purpose for hanging on the backs is just cleaning the water. It's not for biological filtration. I have sponge filters, I have plants, I don't need it. But this little uh, doohickey here, that's a technical term folks. The way that you get more biological filtration is by surface area. And so you can see it has these little spiky things. That's all surface area for the bacteria to colonize on. Um, I prefer something else like lava rock, which I'll show you later when uh, in the second section of this video of how to make your filter better, cheaper. Anyway, water flows through here, then through here, filtered. If you're just starting out, it's not a bad little filter. I don't know how much replacement cartridges are um, because I don't recommend them. I will show you what I use and uh, we'll go from there. All right, oh, and of course there's the lid. This lid in particular is kind of nice because it has this little sensor on it to, uh, and as you can see, as it turns red, can you see that it's red? Maybe if I show you this way, it's red, now it's blue, now it's red. When it's red, it means it's time to change the filter um, because water backs up, which is, I mean, it's actually not a bad little, little doohickey here. When your filter slows down, it's because the water uh, is flowing slower. The water flowing slower because the filter is clogged. Can't do its job as effectively. All right, fishy folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to set this filter up and show you how to get it started, show you some more tips and tricks. Stand by. Hiya. Let's get started. All right, folks, we got the filter. I'm going to put the intake on. I'm going to extend that tube as far as it'll go which is there. We're gonna drop it into this tank of a breeding tank of Calico Plecos. Now, here's the thing with, uh, with these filters. They do require maintenance, obviously. And with power outages, you could have a problem, which we'll go over in a second. So, you plug it in. Try to move this out of the way so it's not in our way. Can't do it. I'll just hold it. And you hear that noise. Oh my God, what's that noise? That's the impeller turning with no, no water. It's gotta suck the water all the way from down here, all the way down there. So we gotta help it. 
we gotta like jump start it. And here's what you do. You grab a little water doohickey and you fill up the chamber with water. Now you hear this noise, which is a noise you might hear in your house when you come home from work or from play and you hear this noise from a hang on back and you're like, oh crap, something's wrong. That noise is more than likely the power went out or something's clogging the intake and you don't have enough water. All you gotta do is prime it again. That's what this is called, priming it. And you hear that noise? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can! That's the pump starting to create uh, suction from the water. It's almost there. Almost, almost there. I'm gonna help it again. Another trick you can do is, so the water has to suck up through the tube and then push through the filter. If your filters are clogged, you take the filters out and it starts running much easier, time to change your filters. But in this case, I'm gonna take the filters out, see if that helps start the flow. There you go. Water's flowing, can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear the difference, but it's much quieter now. That's what it sounds like. So then we're gonna put the filters back in, because that's how we roll. Boom, there you go. All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna show you some hot rod tips now, stand by. All right, fishy folks, I told you I'd give you some tips about hot rodding and saving some money, and here are two big tips that I can give you. If you're using your hang on back filter as your primary filtration, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that, I did it for years, um, you're gonna want as much biological media in your tank as you can, in your filter as it can handle. And the reason is, if you forget a water change, your biological media, your biological media will hold more beneficial bacteria, which will help if, uh, you know, if you have a problem. So, I recommend throwing that blue plastic thing away and just getting some lava rock. Boom! Find lava rock uh, on eBay, on Amazon, uh, in the barbecue section of the big box home improvement stores, places like that. Now, lava rock comes in a bunch of different sizes. The bags are different, but the pieces are different as well. I like the small sizes because you can pack more in there. And the thing about lava rock and all beneficial bacteria um, in general is you want surface area. So this is a very porous rock. What that means is it has, has a lot of holes in it. Those little holes are little caves and cavities that the beneficial bacteria can colonize in and uh, inhabit, inhibit, inhabit, live in um, to help with your biological filtration. So uh, if I was using this as my primary filtration, uh, the first thing I do is throw that blue thing away, put a poop ton of these in the bottom, half of that uh, filter chamber and be done. That would be my biological meat. It never requires cleaning, it's fantastic. The other thing I would do is once that um, cartridge with the carbon in it, uh, gets clogged, you can actually clean those, especially if it doesn't have carbon in it. You can clean those in some uh, old tank water or dechlorinated water, treated water, um, and just swish them off and reuse them. They lower their effectiveness unless you really clean them under a sink, uh, but then of course you'll kill the beneficial bacteria. Um, but I'll, once that gets used once, if it has carbon in it, once I use it and it's clogged, I throw it away. And then I go with the old polyfill, <coughs> I'm fine. I'll put a link to this in the description below as well as for Lava Rock. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link. You know how that works. Trying to save, you know, to buy something for Christmas for my, my 15 children, so please buy stuff. No, uh, Amazon affiliate link, you know how it works. Just a benefit for everyone. Polyfill, you want the polyfill that doesn't have the uh, flame retardant in it, no chemicals. Premium polyester fiber fill, 12 ounces, four bucks. 
you probably go well over a year if you have one hang on back filter with this stuff. I use it in all my um, uh, box filters as well. Love it. All right, fishy folks, that's it. Hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them honestly. If I don't know, I'll tell you it out. No, I won't make it up. I won't look it up. I'll just say I don't know. Uh, don't forget, check out michaelsfishing.com, Black Friday 15. Check out supercichlids.com. They have a ginormous sale going on. And uh, have a great day. See you guys soon. Peace, yo. Hang on back, filter. Hope you have, uh, hope you had, hope you, hope you did something. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Hope you guys had a great Black Fry 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 Friday. 15 where you could use Black Friday 15 for 15% 15 off your total purchase at michaelsfishroom.com. That promo code Black Friday 15 is good until tomorrow, the 26th, also known as Cyber Monday. Guys, I also hope you had a great, I can't remember what it's called. We're gonna have to do this again. A hang on back filter and that's what this video is all about. Uh, how to set up a hang on back filter, sort of the unboxing of this uh, top fin underwater world's silent ream 30, silent stream. Be nice if I could read. No. Oh, I don't like any of it. None of it. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, I hope you had a great Fry Fry Friday which uh, I released the promo code. I released? No. No. That's dumb. Here. Then of course it's got this little chamber which sucks the water through here and goes through there. This obviously comes apart for cleaning. Hopefully that didn't break. That would suck. <laughs>